Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of VGC Series 10 where today, um, I know I already did Kyrim White with like, you know, the, the, uh, Obama Snow and the like on each other's shoulders reaching, saying almost good, um, but after playing Kyrim Black, I appreciate Kyrim White a lot more, <laughs> um, it is a lot easier to, uh, to use, I, I promise. So I made this other team, and the idea was kind of like, I can either go full-on Tailwind with Hail, or I can go full-on um, Sun with Trick Room, or any, you know, variation thereof. I can do Hail with Trick Room, or, you know, Sun with Tailwind if I want. Um, so I kind of have my, my, my pick of whatever I need in any specific situation, and honestly, it's been working kind of good. I did make a couple of changes for the last time I, before, I, I made a couple of changes since the last time I played it, so... We'll see how it goes, um, but let's let's talk about it. Basically, we got Kyrie Might with Life Orb. Um, we're running Blizzard and Fusion Flares, our two main uh, like attacking moves. Uh, I'm not running a Dragon type move because Earth Power I found is a lot more better for type coverage. We are running 252 HP and 252 Special Attack, and then we're not running any speed investment because White Kyurum hits 115 with no speed investment. That's enough to outspeed Calyrex on her Tailwind, so that's good enough for me. <coughs> Reggie Alecki doesn't really threaten us that much, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, running a little Nine Tails with Light Clay. I was running Focus Sash on the Nine Tails and something else on Whimsicott, but I feel like I use the Whimsicott a lot more to like set things up. So I decided to move the Focus Sash over there. It might just it might work a little bit better, you know. That was the change that I made. So. Um, Blizzard Moonblast Aurora Veil Protect, it sets the hail for us so our Blizzard doesn't miss, it has its own Blizzard, Moonblast is very very good, um, Aurora Veil is also very very good, our Kyrim's already pretty bulky, <coughs> give it an Aurora Veil and like, I wanna say it took like 25% from some super effective attack, it was insane, uh, some like really strong super effective, it was like, it was like close combat or something, I, I don't know what happened. I'll, I'll, we'll see what happens later, I guess. Um, Torgol, our other weather setter, running leftovers. <coughs> Gosh. Sorry. Still, still recovering from cleaning my, uh, cleaning, cleaning the other day. That dust was really bad. It was a really bad, uh, place that I was cleaning. Um, yeah, on body press, heat wave. Um, I'm just running, like, max special defense for longevity on the Torkoal. In the sun, heat wave still does a decent amount of damage, so it's fine. Um, I don't, I, I don't know if I'd run this set. I'd probably like steal a set from somebody, but it works for now. Whimsicott, we're running Tailwind and Trick Room on the Whimsicott, so that we have our choice of whatever we need in some situation. Most people don't expect Trick Room for coming off of Whimsicott, so they will just Tailwind in front of you to match your Tailwind, and you set a Trick Room, and they're like, "Oh, I made a mistake." Um, and then Energy Ball because we really just need the Grass coverage more than the Fairy coverage. Stack attacker with Chopper Berry so we can take fighting type attacks better. <coughs> we have a lot of fighting weak Pokemon. We don't have a lot of fighting weak Pokemon, but we don't really have any fighting resist. I think if I was gonna like work this team further, Rotom might have to switch out for something else. Rock Slide, Gyro Ball, Wide Guard, Protect. Max Special Defense, Max HP. We still do a really good chunk of damage with no attack investment, so that's usually just how I run Stack Attacka. Rotom Wash, Levitate, Hydro Pump, Will O Wisp, Protect, Thunderbolt. Um, I really like running Will O Wisp on Rotom because you can take an attack from Zacian and then burn it in return. It's really nice. That's the team. Let's jump in. Let's see if we can get some good battles today. Um, as always, guys, <clears throat> if you like the video, please leave me a like. Um, Leave me a comment. Tell me, tell me what you want to see in Series 11. It's coming up here in about two weeks, and I have a couple of ideas, but you know, if you guys have something that you're really passionate about for Series 11, let me know in the comments, and I can, I can, you know, I can start thinking about stuff like that, too. Okay. <clears throat> um, I kind of just like the Ninetales Kyurem lead here, to be honest. Um, but our Kyurem is never faster than Whimsicott, so that's kind of scary. Um, because not, not my Kyurem and my Ninetales both hit the Eternatus for weakness, but also, um, the Eternatus hits them for weakness. <laughs> it's kind of a really weird thing. Um, I think I'm just going to go these four. <coughs> I think those are my Mons. Um, that way if I see the poison type attack coming, I can switch and stack attack, not take any damage, stuff like that. 
Um, it's also a little good into Entei, this deck attacker. I have Earth Power, of course. If I can have Speed Control, but... How are you guys doing today? As always, I'm going to work after this. <laughs> uh, I wish I wasn't, but... It is what it is. Maybe someday I won't have to go to work after this, you know? What we're working towards. Alright, a turn of a Suicune is, is just fine by me. They probably think we're going to Tailwind. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just Protect and go for a Trick Room here. They just Protect. Let's see if they Tailwind. <laughs> so, fun fact, I'm pretty sure that Blizzard um, straight up just... Oh, they just give up. Oh, no. Um... <clears throat> Blizzard coming off of White Kyurem just straight up KOs most Eternatuses, um, which is a fun fact for you guys to know. Uh, if they're not like bulky Eternatus, we'll just KO them. Alright, well that's a win, I'll take it. It's a very good turn one. This is why we run Trick Room on the Whims of Cut. <clears throat> okay, so I hate Quash Sableye. It's very annoying. Um... I want to go Sun Mode, right? But I kind of need Blizzard to deal with some of these Pokemon. I don't have a great way to deal with the... The Milotic. They're probably going to bring it. So let's do this. And then let's also bring Rotom. Okay, this is fine. It's not great. Um, Let's do... Let's do this. Maybe we can just KO the Zacian. I'm not sure if we KO or not. <clears throat> oh, they just switch. That's fine. Well, they go for Snarl is a move, isn't it? That's so mean. Um. All right, Earth Power. Energy Ball. A little bit of Chip. Little bit of Dressing. Ah, uh, they're running Stone Edge. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? <sighs> that sucks so bad. They just brought everything they needed. Now they're faster than us. Alright, I'm gonna switch into Torkoal, I think. I want to switch into Torkoal. Yeah, I'm gonna switch into Torkoal. And just protect my Elimzakot this turn. Let's see what they go for. Extreme Speed is fine. Behemoth Blade into Whimsicott is also fine. Let me... Think. Let me... I could just trick room here. What are the odds they let Whimsicott live this turn? You know what I mean? I feel like they might just double up in a Torque Let me protect. Let's go for trick room. Let's see if we get it. I think they're going to Stone Edge Torque Snarl again. <laughs> oh, buddy boy. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. Because they have to switch into Milotic, right? Yeah. Heat Wave, a little bit of chip. If I get a crit, I can kill this Milotic. That's not a crit. That's not what we needed, guys. I'm going to go and just Body Press. And I think I'll switch. Um, I think I'll switch into Rotom. Protect. They, oh, the Sacred Fire is in a Rotom. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and body press. You know, let's, let's, I don't know. Um, let's do this. They switch into Zacian. Okay. T-Bolt does a good chunk. Stone Edge, Whimsicott takes it. <clears throat> Let me just Tailwind this turn. Go for the Will-O-Wisp. Rillaboom comes in. Alright, what does Zacian do? Does it just protect? That's fine. I mean, it's not fine. Um, Zacian teams suck and I hate them. Because they just they just have so many tools. Because they can just run whatever they want. It's actually pr pretty damn annoying. I wish I had gotten a Will-O-Wisp off. That would have been so nice. <clears throat> it's it's amazing they have so many things that are that are annoying and they still have Rillaboom in the back. They're so optimized. Um, I kind of don't have much to to deal with this. 
I don't know, maybe they'll call Rotom switching out. Cause like I probably should switch it out. Yeah, that's too too uh too tasty for them to to avoid, right? I don't think Kyurem takes a grassy glide, guys. <sighs> Heat wave fusion flare. I don't think I take a grassy glide. Nope, of course I don't. Yeah. Alright, well you you got it, pal. What a jerk. Oh, why does Entei counter just everything? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, even even with Fusion Flare and Sun, Zacian is still a very hard matchup because all the Pokemon that Zacian likes to run on their team with Zacian are, you know, they're just good. They're good Pokemon that counter whatever. Um, okay. Tailwind, Dracovish, Calyrex. That's interesting. Let's go... Let me just go Kyurem Whimsicott here. I think we need to bring... I think I want to bring Ninetales, to be honest. And then I think I want to bring Rotom. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to protect and go ahead and Trick Room up. <laughs> they were like, you can't KO me. I don't care. Fool. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can KO this Calyrex. I have no idea. Did I miss? Of course I did. All right, Blizzard, Blizzard, it is. <coughs> um, they can just switch. I mean, I'm sure they have like Incineroar in the back. Actually, I don't know if they brought Incineroar. I don't know how good it is in this matchup for them. To be completely honest, there's the Incineroar. Does Whimsic got to protect? It does not. They take a good chunk. Holy cow. Um, okay, my play here is. Just double protect. Dracovish comes in. Okay. That's a Pokemon. They are definitely just using our Trick Room against us. If they're running any speed on this Dracovish, um... <clears throat> this is scary, guys. Let me just go Earth Power into Incin. Switch into Rotom here. Let's see. Oh, we're slower. They're running speed on their Incineroar. Dragon Rush? Oh, goodness gracious. Golly gee whiz. Okay, Protect. Um, I can't beat this Calyrex now. Man, I wish my Blizzard hadn't missed. <laughs> we could have just KO'd the Whimsicott. Man, that's the, that's the thing about Blizzard, isn't it? Uh, let me just try to Hydro Pump, I guess. Okay. I'm imagining they're stuck in the Dragon Rush now, right? And I know that they're faster than my Kyurem, which means they're also faster than my Rotom. <clears throat> I think I just go for the double here. Nope, I don't get it. Astro Barrage probably just KOs Kyurem. Oh, that hurts so bad. Please, Rotom. I don't even get to eat my berry. That sucks, that sucks, that sucks. I'm so mad. we just go down to that, yeah. <laughs> I'm so frustrated because it's never like actually the restricted that beats me. It's playing, having to play awkwardly around all the things around it. You know? Okay, this matchup's not bad for us. Um, I'm just going to go Kyra and Whimsicott here. Let's bring... <laughs> Mm. I'm thinking Nine Tails Road Tom again. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I had a lot of confidence coming into this video, let me tell you. And like, there's been some good things, but man, people are just playing. People are on it this morning. People are people are on it this morning. 
I'm getting outplayed left and right. I got places to be today. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't know. Chiron White feels better than Chiron Black. Like, at least I can hit things, you know what I mean? But but also, they're just not fast enough. If they were just... If they were, like, base 100, I'd feel so much better. Or even, even base... If they were the same base speed as Urshifu and I could run Modest Nature with a Scarf and Outspeed Calyrex, you know what I mean? That's, that's just the thing, like, <clears throat> yeah, they have the ability to hit really hard, but you don't really get to use it if you have to run, like, so much speed investment, you know? And, of course, they lead this Urshifu, which is really scary for me. Um, do y'all think Ninetales takes a close combat? I think we have to bet that it does. I'm gonna go ahead and just Trick Room. they're probably gonna tailwind right yeah there's the tailwind wicked blow we take just fine moonblast switching to kyurum i could like blizzard here and hope it ko's urshifu but i know it doesn't ko every build of urshifu so there's no point like being super risky kyogre comes in all right that's fine moonblast goodbye Peace out, homie. Hmm. Moonblast Blizzard? I think that's our play. Ah, we, mi we always miss the only thing I want to hit. <laughs> and then we lose Ninetales. That sucks so bad. Alright. Um, well, they have Volt Absorb, but they don't have... You know, like... Anything useful. <laughs> Um, unless Thunderous learns Ally Switch, which, you know, I guess it could. I have no idea. Please land the Blizzard. You got me? They miss again? Bruh, come on! Unacceptable, Kyurum. Come on, if you can't land a Blizzard outside of Hail, what are you good for? What are you good for? Why are you here? What are you doing? You're good for nothing. You're a punk. Come on, Kyurum. You got me? Oh my god. I would have one-shot the two turns ago. That makes me so mad. Alright, whatever. We win anyway, so it's fine, but I'm still angry. Kyurum, you have you have you have angered me. T Bolt Blizzard. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get like at least one more, maybe two. Probably two. Okay, um, you know, believe it or not, this actually is not awful for us if we can actually land our blizzards. It's only... <coughs> it's, it's like, still 70% accurate in rain. And sun. Like, it doesn't get halved like thunder does. So, like... It's kind of frustrating to not land it when it's still 70% accurate. Hmm. What do we want to do here? I think, you know, this is going to sound, um, stop me if you've heard this before, but I'm thinking these four. <laughs> uh, the Torkoal's nice, but not in this matchup, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe we don't need the Torkoal mode, or maybe I just need a better Torkoal build, to be honest. Because it doesn't deal with any of these Pokemon. Alright, protect. Protect. Fake out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dragon darts. Mm hmm. I'm I'm gonna just try to tailwind Blizzard here. Let's see if we KO the Dragapult. Oh, it's Sash. Oh no. Alright, that's okay. That freeze is actually 
kind of great, to be honest. Let me go ahead and Aurora Veil. No, they can just Flare Blitz out of it, right? Hmm. Ow. You probably think that that's Sash, but it's not. Holy crap, that's a bulky Incin. I'm so mad! Who runs Sash Dragapult? It's usually like Scarf or Band. Not only is it Sash Dragapult, but it also got a one-hit KO. And that's kind of nuts. I do not accept that. Yeah. Oh, we missed. We even missed the Hydro Pump. What a great time. Will-O-Wisp. Energy Ball. They're probably... F I wanted to tell when we're probably faster. Hey, that's a good chunk. I probably should have just went for Hydro Pump. Sword Dance is a move, isn't it? Oh, they Trick Room. Um... Hmm. Well, now they're burned, though. Like, do we really care that much? They might even still be faster than me, depending on their set. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, burn the Porygon as well. Or Tech Whimsicott this turn. Ice Beam. Alright, Rotom is in fact slower, so that's good. I think they're in Hydro Pump range. Um, let me think. Hmm. I can try, right? They were in Hydro Pump range. I don't know if Rotom can win this. If it has try attack, I don't think we can win this. All right, protect. <coughs> ah, they're running T-Bolt. Okay. Hydro pump. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Throat chop? There's no way Hydro pump KOs. There's no way. Hydro Pump crit, maybe. That Dragon Darts KO in a Kyurem? Bruh. That was, that's pretty frustrating. That lost me this game. Why are they taking so long? Maybe they don't think they take a Hydro Pump. I don't know, Porygon's so bulky, I can't imagine it going down to a Hydro Pump here. I'm probably just gonna miss anyway. Yeah, no. Ugh, man, that's not even close. That sucks pretty bad. Alright, last one, guys. Make it, let's make it count. Let's make it count. <clears throat> Come on, Kyurem, I need you to do stuff, please. I told everybody that you were better than Black Kyurem. Maybe I'm just not on my game this morning, you know? Sometimes it's like that. Wow, this is taking a long time. Okay, what do we got? This can be okay. Um, This can be okay. Let me think. Let's do... This feels like a sun game. Yeah. We're gonna have to land a blizzard out of... Out of... Out of hail to KO this Landorus at some point. Let's do this. And then... Let's bring Stack and Torkoal. Okay. Tapu Fini is kind of scary, not gonna lie. Let me just double... What if they just calm mine though? Let's go for Hydro Pump and Instant. Ah, they call it. Moonblast. Okay. That is not resisted. Um let's go in a stack here. Let's try to Hydro Pump and Cinderor again. It should KO as long as we land it. Which we never do, you know? But that's the breaks, I guess. That kinda sucks, actually. Not gonna lie. <laughs> 
I also can't burn anything. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to protect and Hydro Pump into Landorus now. Um, it should KO as long as we land it. Ah, they just protect. What a great time. Moonblast into Rotom. Yeah, oh, they get the special attack drop too. Ugh. Why? God, why hath thou forsaken me? <sighs> that sucks so bad. If they didn't get the special attack drop, like, okay, maybe. But, like, come on. Come on. For real? I'm faster and everything? Yo. That is unacceptable. That is completely and totally unacceptable. That is junk. That is some absolute garbage. And I'm mad about it. Are they Moonblast? Yeah, of course. <sighs> Alright, Rotom, I need you to KO this Landorus, please. Okay, well, that's fine. KO the Incineroar, then. Not at minus one. No chance. I'm gonna go ahead and try to Gyro Ball. I don't know what I want to do. This Tapu Fini is bugging me, man. I'm straight angry about this Tapu Fini. Not even, like, hy hyperbole or anything. It takes no damage from the... That sucks. Okay, let's just Earth Power into Instant here. Maybe it stays in. I'm pretty upset. Oh, come on. I should have Blizzarded. Oh? Wait a minute. Teeble protect. There's no way this lander is doesn't protect this turn because it keeps protecting in front of me. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, that's good damage. That's good damage. Good damage. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna be risky here. I'm gonna go because I was faster than this landers earlier, right? Where's that turn? Yeah, I'm faster than the lander is. Which is really weird. Um, maybe it's trick I guess it's trick room lander is, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go Hydro Pump Earth Power. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. They protect, that's fine. I can you please? Rotom! I need you to <laughs> land those! Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna just T-Bolt. Earth Power. One of them will KO the Feeny. You're kidding me. Bruh, come on! <laughs> I haven't even seen their fourth Pokemon yet. It's gotta be Sogaleo, too. What do I have for? I have Torkoal, I guess? Alright. Alright. KO the Sin Sin for me, please. Finally. Rotom, finally. What is, isn't Hydro Pump's accuracy like 85%? I should, there's the Necrozma. Okay, um, honestly, I think I just need to burn it. I'm just gonna burn, go for Blizzard. Tepo Fini comes in, it might not even take the Blizzard, to be honest. It does not take the Blizzard. And we should get the burn here as long as we don't miss, but you know, that's something I've said a million times this episode. And now... That comes in. Okay, let's go stack here. Um, we kind of have to. <coughs> Stored power. Wait, is it Lumberry? Oh. Oh. Stored power. I'm out of hydro pumps? Rotom, you missed so many hydro pumps that now we're out of hydro pumps. I, I'm so mad. I guess we're just gonna T-Bolt Necrozma. Like, what else am I gonna do? <sighs> that sucks. That sucks. I've never run out of hydro pumps ever in my life. I'm so frustrated by this game. I 
I'm so mad. I am so angry. Bro, like, come on. How many hydro pumps did I miss? How many? Like, this game was so frustrating. I lost this game to hydro pump misses. Let's see, one, two, three. Four. Last time I checked, Hydro Pump was uh, like 85% accurate and not 50% accurate. I should have landed like at least two more of those. That makes me so angry. We should have won this game. Alright, well that's it. That's the team. I hope you like it. Um, there'll be a paste in the description. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Leave a comment. Leave a like. I'll catch you guys next time.